Jared, hmm. what are we doing today? Painting these beams. Oh yeah? What color are we painting them? Green. What kind of green? Bissell Maple Farm Green. Bissell Maple Farm Green. Yeah, are you ready to do this, dude? Yep. Let's go around the circle. While we sit here and watch paint dry, it gives me an opportunity to tell you how helpful my boys have been. Both of my sons, Jonathan and Jared, have helped me more in this project than I think I ever helped my dad. So I am grateful for my son's willingness to help. Yeah, were you singing? Oh yeah? No, you weren't. You knew you were on camera. Don't lie. Don't lie. Jared has a servant's heart. He's usually the first one to say, can I help? And he just jumped right in on painting this. I hate painting. And Jared just jumped right in. It actually, it was good for my spirit. It was good for my soul. When I travel with the boys, or work with the boys, I've always said one plus one equals three. It's so much easier to work with them. It's inspiring to keep me moving. brush this thing and I take it down to the metal. Oh that is nicer. I hate painting. I'm glad Jared was willing. So the boys and I are here getting things around. We want to get this uh, shelter put up here. Um, Hopefully this weekend we'll start putting rafters on. That's the plan anyways. So we need to finish cutting some of these. I'm gonna make rafters out of these. I've got some flitch here. Need to make rafters out of these. And we need to figure out rafters and where we're gonna put this thing. So that's kind of the plan. Let's get to it. All right, explain what we're doing here. What's the metal for? Why is there metal ships? Well. You were drilling in, you took a drill bit and you drilled in how, where you want to put the screws into the wood. Okay. Just to mark it. Pull it off. And then there's a little mark the way you're gonna screw it. Put it in, and then you put the screw in. To the wood, so it's identical all this stuff. It's a beautiful sight right there. Captain America over there. Captain America, he's got one more to do. Working like men today. See? I see the words Captain America and the flag starts blowing over here. Dang. Let me help you. Go. I got it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Last one, dude. Yeah. So there's a big side and a small side? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. I wonder which one goes down and which one goes up. What do you think? Um, probably big one. Big one what? At the bottom. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, that's good. Let me see. That looks a lot better, dude. Good job. Did you get all four in this one? Yeah. Good job. That one, I know is good. That one's good. So you just have... How's that one looking? Good. You sure? Did you go around this one already? Yeah. I'm around both sides. You guys are almost done. You're doing good. You're almost done. John Boy's got a leg up there now. A little extra weight. Good. Last one, dude. Mm -hmm. Your arm's getting tired? A little bit. It's just awkward. I don't know. That's why you should get up here. So here's the plan. We are going to run the I-beams going this way. So we're going to put an I-beam down this way. We're going to put an I-beam down this way. Then we're going to set the timbers on it here. And then the back, we're going to lag them in, lift it up with the tractor on one side, bolt the legs in, drive the tractor around, lift it up, bolt the legs in. That's the plan anyways. See how it goes. So I've really enjoyed this project with my dad, my boys. My mother and father have really enjoyed this project. Um, when that sawmill's running, my dad enjoys coming over. It's been nice. My mom's been making meals for us and you know as you do projects like this you think while I was building a business you know my wife and the support system I wasn't around as much with my boys they don't they don't know how to use tools as well as I would have hoped for being Bissell boys and it's frustrating but it's really myself I'm frustrated with and taking the time to do this, I just, you know, when you're starting a business, you work and you work and you sacrifice. And Jonathan's almost 16 years old. And I realize I just haven't had the time with him to do projects like this, for him to learn how to move heavy objects, how to build, what tools are. And aside from it being super hot and occasionally I get grumpy and short with them, they've been very receptive to this. Like, they have been receptive to learning. They want lots of breaks, though. I can say that. They like their snacks and breaks. And I just want to work and get it done. So this project, more in a sawmill shed, I'm just trying to get some time back that I should have had with them earlier. This whole thing was about leveling the structure and, you know, underneath the grindings, there are chunks of blacktop and bricks, and it's not exactly easy to work with. But uh, we're just trying to lay out the structure so it's square, level, and when we get it up in the air, if it's level here and everything's the right length, then it'll be level in the air. That was my thought anyway. So, the one thing I can tell you is the first lumber we cut for this sawmill shed is certainly not the same quality as to what we're doing now. So you can almost see the progression as the sawmill shed is built at our skill level of running the saw. That was my mom coming out. I call her my boy's union rep making sure they're getting breaks and snacks and their foreman isn't too hard on them.
One of the timbers is actually one inch longer than the other one, which ended up making it a little bit difficult on our, uh, when we put our rafters up. There's Uncle Gary, you know, Aunt Sue and Uncle Gary. My parents have a really nice spot for their camper set up there and they come out for the weekends and it's kind of nice having them. Uncle Gary's a big fan of the channel, so uh, it's kind of nice to have him here in, there, in the uh, episode because he's been watching all along. That was my dad making a mistake I didn't catch until looking over the footage. So I thought I had everything square and uh, my dad snuck away there, I had no idea. All right, so as far as we got today, but the plan tomorrow is to lag the beams into the I-beams, the timbers into the I-beam, lift them up with the tractor, bolt the legs on one side, come around to the other side, lift it up with the tractor, bolt the other, four, or other two legs in, and set it down and then try to get in position. We might want to put a board under it with some pipes so we can roll the other two legs that aren't supported by the tractor. But that's the plan anyways. Give her, we didn't get much done today, but we'll give her heck tomorrow. Not bad, huh? Nope. So this was a really long day. Um, it was like two work days, and this is probably the most impressed I've been with my son. Jonathan was willing to work in the heat with a grumpy father and help me get this level. And we worked at it and worked at it and worked at it. And he worked like a man today. I don't think I ever worked with someone with focus like Jonathan did in this footage that you see. square and my tape measure isn't long enough so I literally use a stone to mark it. Jonathan moves to the stone and I use a water bottle to make sure that I'm in the same place every time. So super scientific. pre-drill our holes because we can't fit the drill in between the I beam. So what do you think? Um yeah.
this guy, right? I believe, yes. You just drive them in there, but there's no room. Especially when you take a six inch. So that's what we were gonna do. So we couldn't even pre-drill it because we couldn't even get the drill bit in there. So we marked where all our holes were, lifted the beam up, because you couldn't even draw a straight hole. So if you notice, you can put them in by hand. Here, yep. start them by hand. I think it's going up. So I can't use the DeWalt to drive these glorified drywall screws into the timbers. So Jonathan and I needed to use a ratchet with the fitting the bit that came with the screws. The screws are sizable, they were you know two and a half dollars a piece, so they're not, you know, nothing they're nothing to sneeze at. But uh, we ended up having to pre-drill the holes with the pattern and then with a ratchet drive four of these lags up into the timbers and uh, this was probably the hardest you know laying in the sun and uh, laying on your backs and driving these up it, it was a lot of work to do it this way I'm sure there's a better way we just couldn't think of one So here's the plan. That end needs to be bolted to the bottom of these I-beams. So dad's gonna lift up this end. We're probably gonna slide it forward because you're gonna have an arc that'll come down. Well, not an arc, but the legs will probably come down to about here. So we're gonna have dad slide it down about two feet. Well, this is probably one of the most exciting parts of building this, is getting this frame up. My sons were working with me blind. They couldn't see what, what we were building with the material we had. And I think this was eye-opening for Jonathan for sure, to see all the effort and then start taking, you know, the, the sawmill shed started taking form. found out the first time we moved it that uh, we needed a little bit more height so we put some spacers, some slabs, some pieces of wood between the back of the forks to get a little bit more height. So we learned from the first, the first time the tractor just didn't quite lift high. What's warmer, the beam or the timber? The beam. You gonna stand? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you ever seen those iron workers a hundred story high walking on beam? I have. That's not me. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. Get a shot for your mother. Look to your left. Look at Baca and Point. 
with the other hand. Monkey man, you can do pull-ups on this stuff. Hey, let me hold that instead of watching you fall. But I would, I'd film it. <laughs> I'm good. Oh yeah? That was nice. Let's take a walk around here. Yeah, it's pretty wide. About as big as that garage. I think Baca was right, just keeping it off the garage is the right thing. This thing's gonna be bigger in a house. Jonathan and I finished putting up the frame with Baca's help. Definitely needed the tractor to do that. So as you can see, the 22 foot timbers are resting on the I-beams from the mezzanine from the GE factory. Let's see if I'm getting used to this camera here, sorry. Uh, Jared and Jonathan helped me paint it. And uh, we are done. That's all I got. That's all I got for the day. You know, this sawmill shed build turned out to be more about spending time with my boys and my father than building a structure to keep the weather off a new sawmill. We're not done yet, but I can tell you going through this project, that's what it has become. Time with my dad and my boys. There's a lot of pride in building something with your own hands, having a vision and seeing something and then watching it come to fruition. I've also enjoyed watching my sons. Um, they have great pride in the progress. Sometimes I bring Jonathan, sometimes I bring Jared, but they are always interested in the progress and they do like to share with others with what we've been doing. So I enjoy that my boys have pride in this project, that they are a part of building something.